This is my beach. There's the sand and some waves. I think it's early morning. That's me there. I used to live just down the road um, in the house that I was born. And I used to come to the beach and sit and look at the horizon and scare myself. When there's a cold front coming in, you see this dark line of clouds and the clouds grow and grow and grow and I knew that that line of clouds wasn't, uh, what were it wasn't clouds, but uh, it was a giant wave that was coming towards me. So I made a plan. My, my plan started with grabbing my brother and my mom and my dad, dragging them out of the house and getting them up the mountain as quickly as possible. If there was time, we would grab a few things from the house. We would try to take some food, maybe grab an apple or newspaper, maybe a pair of binoculars. And, and if there really was time, we could tell the neighborhood. We could get everybody together and get them to just run. Run as fast as they can, as high as possible. And then we would sit there and we would watch as the wave broke over the valley. It would take our houses with it, all our memories, my childhood, take the beach. It seemed like a very good plan. Over the years though, every time I went back to the beach I thought through the plan and I started picking holes in it and tearing it apart. I started doubting it and asking, well, what if, what if I am the first person to see the wave? If I'm the one who sees the danger coming, will I do anything? Will I just stand there completely paralyzed? And if I tell the other people, will they even believe me? Will, will they feel that the danger is real? Will they act before it's too late? If we look away, we won't see it coming, but it is. It's my beach. It's our beach, our memories, our children. There's no point in arguing, wasting time. Those are the kind of things adults like to do. We have to open our eyes again.